Sorry, sorry. And I, you know, you know one thing I want to understand. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? Stephen. Stephen, nice to meet you. My name is Shamsi. Nice to meet you, Shamsi. Well, like, Stephen, look, let us be honest to ourselves. Yeah, just utilize our sound reasoning. Yeah? Imagine, oh, you and I, we know that God is perfect all the time. I can imagine that. You, have, you, you, you know, it's not imagine it's a reality. God is perfect. He has no beginning, no end. And he's self-sufficient. He's not in need of nothing. And everything's in need of him, correct? Yes. Yes. And we will be living our being, yes. Yeah. So we, Jesus, who was getting breastfed by his mother, is that the same God who is self-sufficient? He's the son of God. Or Jesus, the baby, the child, human baby. Yeah, because according to the Bible, the word became flesh, and the word that is God. So God became flesh. So the flesh that was holding, that was God, who became flesh. Called the Bible. So that God, that God who is flesh, is baby, he was he was the God who was self-sufficient, who was not in need of nothing all the time, but he was in need of milk to, to, to survive. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing? What a miracle! That God was no miracle. No, no, what a miracle! That's that, 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 that nature of a baby. That's a no, no, that's a nonsense. A baby, yeah. There's no miracle. Can I speak? Can I... Steve, that's a nonsense. Not a miracle. You've asked me a question. Can I answer? Go on, go. Do you know what I said? <laughs> You're saying it's ridiculous that God, who is powerful, all sufficient, the God that does not need anyone, now needs to suck on his mom's titties. That's who's not in need of nothing? That, 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 that's that's the, am I correct? That's the, so you agree with that? He's not no, need no, of nothing. That, that, yes, is that, I've said back to you what you said to me. Yeah. Now I'm saying that's amazing, a miracle, because how amazing it is that the God, the creator of the universe, saw it fit to come into flesh. The incarnations are the most, the most humbling act ever done. Now the God of the universe would take the shape of a man and be, and be also remember, the mother was told, she was the Mary had a vision where she was told that the Holy Spirit would come upon you. The, the, you know don't you just repeat yourself. I don't, I don't have the exact word, but the Holy Spirit will come upon her. Come upon her, like a dove, upon, like a dove come up. Yes. Similar. So, but, but you so, just so, repeat no, yourself. No, no, I'm, no, the point you I, just repeat yourself. I said that to say that God is involved in all of it. No, you just repeat yourself. Well, I'm small by saying. You just said to me, God is not in need of nothing. So, if God is not in need of nothing all the time, by default, is not in need of anything. So, if you say to me, God is not in need of nothing, then it's God is in need of something. That's contradiction. But, that's refutation. What if God? So, no, no, hear me out. No, no, hear me out. No, hear me out. I can't the question. Is God in need of anything? No, he's not in need of anything. So, God is not in need of nothing all the time. Need, need, so, is, a, need is the key word. Need is the key word. I'm yeah, okay. Continent. So when Jesus was a baby, was he in need of the milk to survive? That, that's, that's the trick. Is that he chose to be? He didn't need to. No, that's the trick. He chose okay. to be in if, that if, form. If, if Mary should give him milk, would he survive? I don't know. He wouldn't. That's why she was giving him milk. I, I don't know. I he, he wouldn't. <laughs> but he would. As a normal human being, he wouldn't. That's why he was giving him milk. If if he was not in need of milk, she wouldn't give him milk. The fact she was giving him milk because he was in need of it to survive. <laughs> Therefore, that's contradiction. That's why that is not a miracle. You that is not a miracle. You created the milk. You created the milk. You created the milk. You created the bread. Jesus. You created. No, no, no. From your point of view, I'm asking you. You created Mary. God, God created Mary okay, and God everyone. Created, God created Mary. God created Mary's breast. Okay. God created the milk in Mary's breast. God created a, a Oh, food. did you know that God provides for God? God needs no one because God provides for himself. But she was in need of Jesus in need of his mother. Jesus was in need of his mother. She had to change his nappy and fed, fed yeah? And you believe that was God? Jesus, God chose to humble himself so much that he would be so in God, need of a, so, of a woman. So God that humbled himself so for someone to change his nappy. Take care of yourself, may Allah help you. I can't help you, no. You can't, you can't argue with someone like that. Well, I, yeah, of course. Thank you for your time. Thank you for knowing your time. Okay, are you, uh, yeah, no. yeah, you believe that, yeah, you believe that. Allah believe Akbar. That she believes that God, that God, some, who is in need of someone changes nappy. God uh, humbled himself that you need to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's not humbleness. That's a nonsense. That's a nonsense. It's like, it's like someone said to you, I believe God humbled himself to become a cockroach. So where's the difference between the Lamin Dalek? God is not in need to become a cockroach. And, and the father never became a baby. He was a son. So what, the father never humbled himself. 
You see, alhamdulillah. People, please, imagine Christian out there. He just said, God humbled himself, becoming a baby for someone to chase his nappy. Imagine this. Imagine some nonsense you could believe. The Almighty. So if, if someone comes to you and you listen, I believe in God, they can cook watch. He said, no. He said, yeah, he humbled himself. That's not humbleness. That's God and guess his nature, but it's perfect. That's why I come to Islam. That's why Christianity is dying. And I believe these Christian preachers are doing a great job for us. That's why I, do, I use them to show with their own tongues what the Christians really believe. For the Christians out there who have sound reasoning to know Christianity doesn't make any sense. Because sometimes the Christians tell you what? Go speak to our preachers. Here you go, your preacher. He just accepted God, became a baby, and someone chose nappy. And that was God. So Mary was changing God's na uh, nappy for God. I leave you with Allah's statement. Allah Samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu al ahad. Say, O Muhammad, Allah is one, unique. Master, self sufficient. He's not in need of nothing there, all the time. He just told me God is not in need of nothing. Then tell me God he was in need of the milk. Contradiction. He beget not, neither was he begotten. And there is nothing like unto Allah. Look at the description of the Almighty, the greatest. Assalamu alaikum, we say, man. Long time, bro. What's going on, good. So, we look to Allah. Look now. How I go? Where have you been? <laughs> you know, that why I leave you. Well, Allah, how Allah describes himself in the Quran. Likewise, ayat al kursi. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyu al qayyum. La ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la nawm. Allah is the ever living. When you read the Quran and you see how Allah describes himself, and you look at the creation, you know for a fact the creator of his creation is Allah. When you look at the Bible and the Christians believe and you see how they describe Allah, you know for a fact this creation was not created by the God of the Christians. Because our baby, someone says, is not he created this universe. Does it make any sense? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. My dear brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you all. As you know, we are, we have a campaign to raise money for our masjid or to buy a new place. Because as you know, the current place that we have behind the market, subhanAllah, you, I believe you did see, or if you haven't seen it yet, go back to our channel, Das Da'wa, and see it. The place, subhanAllah, is very terrible. Wallahi, it's very hard to walk through. It's not safe for women or children to come. So we are raising money. We, are, we haven't found a place yet, but what happened, we are raising money. Because what happened in the past, if, if, we, do find, if we do find a place, we don't have enough money for deposit. So we're raising money, inshallah, while we are still looking for a new place. So make sure you help us. May Allah bless you.